Delivery on that one, mate. If Mr. Michael would get a nice view of the course in the case, I have to say it's very nice. Yep. Right, we'll start with what's included. First off, you got a basic multilingual manual. Yep, quick start guide. Right? And this is inside. I must note, I got this from Aria, I don't know if you can get this now. 199.74, including VAT, free delivery. Cheapest in the UK. Can't argue, good yep. price. Gibbo might kill me for using his quote, because he uses that a lot. <laughs> right, we have a 8 pin to 8 or 4 extender, in case your power supply doesn't reach. Note that there isn't a 24 pin extender, but should be alright with that. Yeah, I would have thought the most post pies are big enough to go. Hope with that. We have. Can't count. Eight zip toys. Black. Need lots more. Some more black standoffs for your EATX, as the standard ATX is already fitted. We'll get to that. Um, I'm not quite sure what these are for, do you know? More black screws in Not too sure. Fan black screws, basic motherboard black screws. These are brackets for your extra. I can't quite see it. Yet. We'll get to any of these. are hard drive brackets anyway. Four right angled black SATA cables, and then anti vibration rubber. Is that for the post Yeah, two post bar. Nice. Well, that's that. Let's I'll come to, to the front of the case. First thing you notice is a brushed black aluminium finish. Looks really nice. Yep. Got our power there and activity LED. And if I push that, front IO panel, four USB 2.0 ports, a headphone and microphone jack, and a firewire and your reset button. And Mikey's phone. <laughs> it's always going on. And come down here to your hot swap of all day. Now that you've bit. got five, five and a quarter inch bays. Plenty of space there for all your things. These are quick release. First off, you can, uh, if you lift this lever up, you can get this door, depending on which side your PC is on. That's a nice little touch, that, isn't it? Yeah. Just a little push. Then we got in here four swappable bays. I like that, it's just like a server rack. It's really nice. These are, you have to screw the hard drives in, but these are capable of fitting the solid state drives on the right hand side. So that's there. You notice that it's raised at the bottom here for airflow underneath. It's cool to go with design that Silverstone use and draw hot air from the bottom to the top. And then we'll come to the side of the panel around here. Note that it's just a button for quick release. That is so simple. Right, where does that? The five and quarter inch bays are all toolless. And we'll come here to the hot swappable bay area. It's just a cover. There's a 140 millimeter fan, which that's going to keep the hard drives nice and cold. Yeah. We come here to a nice, interesting bit. This is the bit I like. I've already wired this up, so you attach your, you can just back plate for all your satters, and it'll wire down here at the back. And then obviously, about like keeping things nice and tidy. Yeah. Nice. And obviously, this cover goes back on. Come down here, we've got another 140, I think, millimetre fan which draws air from the bottom down here. And obviously, there's room for 
Possibly a radiator or a pump. And you've got your grommet yeah, nice for there. your tubing. Straight up into the case. Uh -huh. These are the rails down here for your power supply. That's very nice. Which underneath is a removable dust shield. Which is nice. Very useful. I assume this is washable. Yeah, it's all right now. There's room down here. Front, you can have another one 20 millimeter fan on there. Yeah, using the wire drives there, isn't yeah. It? And obviously that comes with a handy case as well to cover the wires, which go through the back down there. Now you notice all standoffs are pre-installed for the uh, standard ATX case already, and the uh, extended ATX holes are already there, provided standoffs. So even if you have a extended, it will cover these, but you can still wire it under, but you've got these yeah. as well. You don't need to come under the tray anyway. Right, yeah. No, that, these all, the thumb screws. Yeah, they're all thumb screws with an additional eighth ventilation slot at the bottom for try SLI. As we all know, first slide bakes. Yes. Crossfire for the win. No, uh, <laughs> we're not going, going crossfire. <laughs> yeah, we're not going there. Uh, there's another 140 fan included for exhaust. As well as if our gun was in here. And have a triple radiator. Or three fans. 120s, aren't they? Yep, yep. whatever tips you fancy. I, like that, so the I think it's designed well for both water. It's all matte right? black and it feels good. It's got the same finish as a power supply. Yeah. This is designed for the Corsair 1001. And Yeah, my post is nice, you know. Right, you've got more grommets here for tubing. Yeah. In case you had a problem right, right at the back or something. And more yeah. ventilation here. There's a lot of ventilation slots on it. And obviously your power supply goes down here. And there's a provided anti-vibration rubber. What's it? Let's keep it all nice and... And more ventilation nice down here. Note that there's ventilation down here. Which comes from this 140 that blows through the hard drives and you go to the back here, another quick release button. Unless I've broken. So the hard drive fan blows through here, comes out of these vents here. Note that there's a lot of cable management holes. Yeah, and all fans included etc are all black. A normal style course there. Flat pin cable. Yes. Keep it all in check. Here we have a panel release. That is brilliant. That is. That is just. So if you got a, a bracket on your board. Yeah. You don't have, have to take your motherboard out to change it. Yeah. Very very good. Which is good as the motherboard tray is not removable. Well, not many are. Mm. But that's just a brilliant idea. The amount of times I've had to strip my board out just because I want to change my water block. Right then. So I think that'll pretty much cover all of it. Have you got any additional? No, I just think it's a lovely case. Alright well then. Out. Right, look. I haven't got my rig to put in here yet, but I should be doing that over the weekend and hopefully a video over that. So yeah, that concludes our review on the Corsair Obsidian 800D that I purchased from Aria, cheapest in the UK. I've got you two buyers, Mikey and Harvey. So get one there, Chris. No, I recommend the case. It's just class. Yep, and I recommend the delivery and service from Aria. Yep. Brilliant. So there you go and make sure you go and get one then. Well, then that's it. Ta-ra. Bye-bye.